<sighs> you too. What's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with yet another Washington football team video. And in today's video, is just a little quick update. It's game day, guys. I will be streaming the game uh, at probably 3.55 to just get things started early um, versus the Arizona Cardinals. But just a little quick update here. Um, as the 1 o'clock early slate games are starting to kick off, um, Kendall Fuller's out. Kendall Fuller's out um, all week. We've been hoping that he could play questionable, but... It just broke that he's going to be out today. We had again missing the second straight game, and it's not good. I don't know what's going on, but he hasn't practiced. Well, he's practiced, but he's been dealing with this for almost close to a month now, man. He, he sustained his injury like late um, training camp, late August, early September. So it's really like, well, actually, I take that back. I think it's like mid-August, late mid-August to early September. And it's just it's a nagging injury. I don't know what's going on, but, yeah, he's out again. And uh, this this could not have came at the worst time because we faced DeAndre Hopkins this weekend. Uh, we only could hope to contain him. Or, or should I say in a couple hours? We faced him in a couple hours, and it just sucks, man, because we really need all everybody. We need everybody um, hands on deck to stop DeAndre Hopkins. Like I've been saying this whole entire offseason, for guys like DeAndre Hopkins, you can't, you can't stop him. You just hope, hope to contain him, man. So, hey... Everybody's got to step up. You know what I'm saying? Jimmy Moreland had a pick last week. Fivian Moreau had a pick last week. I'm hoping Fivian Moreau or Jimmy Moreland's going to be the one checking him. Yeah, I know Jimmy Moreland's small, but he doesn't play like it. He's going to play feisty. So hopefully, hopefully Darby does not check DeAndre Hopkins because I don't even have to say nothing. It's just going to be embarrassing. Now, actually... I don't know, cause Darby he does well in like intermediate passing, but when he he only gets beat when he you know runs deep routes, and I don't see them really throwing deep routes to DeAndre Hopkins. They run the air raid offense, which is a quick up tempo offense, and it consists of slants, crossing routes, and also drag routes. So they they rarely throw the ball deep. So it would be surprising if they do that. They just try to get the ball off quick, and they did that against the 49ers last week. They're going to be trying to do that again this week, considering the fact that they played yet another top ten defensive line potentially, and um considering the fact that we had. Eight sacks on Carson Wentz last week, they're going to be trying to do the same thing. I would not be surprised. So, they're going to try to get the ball out of Kyler Murray's hands within like two seconds, three seconds. So, we have to jam. We have to hope, we have to hope and pray that we can jump some of these routes like Jimmy Moreland did last week, Freeman Monroe did last week, where they jumped the comeback routes. Now, that was a bad um, ball by Carson Wentz, but hopefully we can make Kyler Murray do some of those decisions today. So, with that being said, just wanted to come on here for a quick video. Nothing long. Once again, Kendall Fuller is out um, for today's game. It's not good. He's missing his second straight week. Hopefully, we can have him back next week for the Cleveland Browns game because that's going to be a big game, too. They have Jarvis Landry, um, Odo Beckham Jr., Austin Hooper, and it's just they have a ton of weapons. So, we need all hands on deck once again. But, yeah, quick little video. Make sure you guys come to the stream at 3.55 p.m. to watch the game with me. We'll be doing this every week, going live for every single game. So make sure you guys come chill with me, and hopefully let's pray for a win, man. Hail to the Washington football team. Let's go. Let's come out of Arizona with a win. Peace.